Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything digital planning and digital Bible study as well as Samsung and iPad uh, tablets, mainly Samsung though and Android. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can stay updated on all things new uh, with PGL. So today we are going to be doing a uh, Penley versus Good Notes. <laughs> Bear with me because I'm trying to make sure two uh, two devices are in the same space. I am going to get better at this. I will, you know, eventually do like the full editing experience where I have it split screen side by side and all that stuff. But with me running my business right now and focusing on building up my shop, I this is what I've got right now. I'm currently working on launching some new planners, so this is this is where we're at. All right, so. I, if you are kind of new here or you're not new here, then you know majority of my videos have been on touch notes with a little sprinkle of other apps here or there. But recently touch notes did an update and it has just ruined the experience of touch notes for me. So I have been using Pinly actually for the past few days now, almost a week. And I actually quite like it more than I thought I would. Um, I've been enjoying it. I think that the app itself with the updates, once you get used to the interface and you get used to using it, it's actually really quite pleasant. I have no uh, complaints about the app itself. Um, I do think the creator has done a beautiful job at uh, making a, an experience very similar to GoodNotes on the Android tablet. So for that, I mean, kudos because it seems like a lot of people want that good notes experience on an Android and I feel like she's done just that I mean I know her brother is the one doing majority of the uh, actual like coding and making the app but I'm pretty sure she's giving a lot of her input and then of course people are giving input so I think now before I would not compare these two apps because I felt like there was just updates that needed to happen in here for it to actually be comparable but now I think it's fair like I think it's a fair fight <laughs> between the two apps now, what we're not going to do is look at the home screen interface. We're also not going to look at templates because Pinley doesn't have any. So I don't think that's really fair to note or talk about. GoodNotes has templates, but keep in mind GoodNotes has been out much longer than Pinley. And I think it's very commendable that she's been able to catch up um, on a lot of stuff as far as GoodNotes is concerned because GoodNotes has been out for years, whereas Pinley, this is the first full year on the market. So you know, gotta give uh, credit where credit is due. So let's go ahead and hop into the first thing that I wanna talk about, which if you'll notice, I, I don't know how well you can see this, but oops, let's come back in to this mode. I don't even know if, um, let me see. I didn't even check to see if my Apple Pencil was connected. Let me connect that. <laughs> my daughter was playing Gabby's Dollhouse on this tablet. Um, you know, that's one thing I have to say. Oh, it needs to be charged. Okay, so we're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do stuff. We're gonna talk about what I wanna talk about. So up here in this uh, corner here, uh, you have the same concept where you have the whole page thing. It's literally, it looks the same as far as actually entering it. It's the four squares. She's done the same thing there. So that's similar. Um, as far as importing stuff and things like that, when you hit add, for here, you can import and use a template, or you can look for more templates, you can import an image, you can scan a document, you can take a photo, or you can just import something from within where you've already downloaded. With Penly, it's essentially the same thing. I don't know how well you guys can see uh, what's going on there. Maybe I should do it flat too. No, because then, let me see. Uh, I'm not sure which is better. <laughs> Maybe I should try and do this long ways as well. I don't know, but this is so long. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we can scooch it down and just try. Okay, let's just give it a try. Let's just give it a whirl here and see and see what we think about it, okay? Long ways, I'm not a fan of the Samsung tablet done long ways, I will admit that. But anyways, so you have this here and if you hit edit, you can essentially import as well um, anything from around your tablet, whether that be images, stickers, yada, 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 yada. So it's, a, it's the same thing minus the templates, basically. You can uh, bring in different pages that way. Um, I think I'm going to keep it the way that it was, honestly, you guys. I'm sorry. I know I should have probably figured this out beforehand, but we're going we're gonna to 
keep it pushing. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we're leaving that, I'm sorry, my Apple Pencil has to charge. This is one of the things I don't really care for about Apple, and I feel like, you know, with the Samsung tablet, you just, you don't even have to worry about all that. This pencil hasn't been charged in forever, and I can still use it whenever I feel like it. So it's so nice. Um, now, as the search feature is concerned, here is basically for you to search through your document. Um, I don't know that Penly has that function yet, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it'll be coming. I did ask them about syncing. We'll talk about that. So both apps have a phone app now at this point. Penly has released their phone app. With GoodNotes, everything syncs across the cloud, so you can access your GoodNotes planner on your tablet, on your iMac, on your um, phone, and you're good to go. With Penly, you can access it. If you have the M8 Smart Monitor, you can just use Dex and cast your, or if you have any smart monitor that's Samsung or whatever, you can cast your tablet onto it if it supports Dex, and you could use Penly on there, and that would eliminate the need for syncing the app that way. But you can also uh, eventually, because I did talk to them, they are working on doing it where it'll sync across the phone. So both of the apps will be similar in that respect. Um, with the pen function, I feel like it's the same. Like, you've got your pen, you've got your marker. The only thing that I wish, let me see how far along the charging is on here. Normally it doesn't take too long. Yeah, we're good. We can get enough of the video out of this now. So with good notes, with the pen, the only thing it really has over Penly is when you draw a straight line, it's gonna make that straight line. With Penly, when it comes to the pen function, you draw a straight line and you hold it, nothing happens. But they have alleviated that issue with giving you a shapes tool that has a line in it. You can control the thickness of the line. So let's make it thick and let's make the color uh, so you can actually see it because I have mine in white. And so if you want to draw a line, you would just use the line function, but it doesn't necessarily snap where it's a perfect straight line. You kind of have to get it to where it would be straight. You know what I mean? Like there's very much a lot of give here. Whereas if I draw my straight line here with the pencil function, it snaps when it is straight. So you know you got a straight line. With here, you just really have to kind of guess. And it's not too hard, but it's just, it would be nice if it would snap. Um, when you draw a straight line like it does with the ruler tool, which when you do the ruler Let's make it nice and big get a nice color. You can see boop, It snaps, but I don't think it lets you edit it. Let me see It kind of does in a very weird way that was really strange I don't think I've actually ever tried that um, with the ruler function here. Let's get a color. You can see um, if you snap it you can adjust it, but it will click when it is a straight line. So in that respect, I do feel like as far as the writing tools are concerned, that GoodNotes kind of beats out Penly in that department because it is better in that way, as you see um, how easy it was to just, boop, you know? I didn't have to go into the shapes tool to make that happen. Now with the highlighter, it does allow you to do that, like I said, but that's kind of annoying. Now let me see something really quickly. Yeah, so with good notes though, the only thing about it, let's see, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. So with good notes, the lasso is essentially kind of like your selection tool. And if you wanted to resize this or whatever, it would do in such a way where at that point you might as well, like if you're trying to full, fill in a status bar, you might as well just redraw it and try to like make it like, you know, what am I trying to say? Like you can't resize it in the status bar. Like say, for example, let me try to make this make sense. If you have a status bar showing your progress or whatever inside of a, a program or whatever, like say this is your status bar for like work and you wanted to use your highlighter tool to fill this in. Let's use a color that uh, would show up then if you completed this amount of work and you want it to go back in and uh, change this, oh, well, hold on. <laughs> I gotta turn off the, well, I guess this makes this kind of difficult. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is if you select this to resize it, 
it doesn't allow you to resize it the way you would want to. You'd have to redraw that highlighter because as you see, it resizes it like this. Whereas in Penly, if you select the highlighter here to resize this, you can shrink it backwards like so. You can make it thicker. Like it allows more room for editing and in that department, I do think it's better. I like the selection tool in Penly way more than I like the lasso tool inside of GoodNotes. I've never been a fan of the lasso tool inside of GoodNotes. I feel like sometimes it's finicky. Um, I don't like this, the way it operates in the sense that if you circle this, I'm clearly circling this highlighter only, but because it's all encompassed, I can't really just move this. It's gonna take that background with it, you see? So that's kind of annoying. And if you're talking about something you've drawn, what makes it more annoying is if you wanna unselect handwriting, then it's not gonna select anything because this is all handwriting. So it, it has its its things where it's like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Whereas with Penly, you select that, like say if we put this on top of each other. If I select this bar here, by tapping it, I can get it. If you tap something in here, that's not gonna work. The only way it'll work is if it's a sticker and you're using the image tool to select. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll let you select that, or if you do the lasso, it won't. You see how it selects both images I brought in or both because the lasso will select whatever it touches. That makes sense. I was trying to make that make sense as best as I can. I've been working all day on planners, you guys. So you're gonna have to forgive me if I'm confusing you. But basically what I'm saying is I don't like the selection tool in GoodNotes. I do like the selection tool in Penly. I feel like it wins in that department. Now with any text tool, cause we're gonna go ahead and go into text. I feel like the eraser tool is not even worth mentioning um, because I don't really see a difference. Both of them have it where you can uh, change the sizing of the eraser as far as like what you've got going on now hmm, i'm just now realizing this actually let me say this good notes eraser is better <laughs> i hate to say that like so blunt but with good notes eraser at least you have the precision precision eraser involved where you can choose what kind of eraser you want but like i said good notes has been out longer than pinley it's going to have more uh more features in the sense that obviously they've gotten feedback for a longer time they know what people want whereas Penley's still building its way up and like i said i feel like in that respect it is very comparable now with the text tool i feel like Penley is better because obviously it's just easier to bring in and import uh, font with good notes bringing in font you have to bring it into your ipad before it will show up in good notes and that's any app on your iPad. You're gonna have to download it into your actual tablet in order for it to show up here, which for me, that means you gotta download the any font app or an app that will allow you to download the font. Like it's just way too much work to do something so simple as in putting an actual font. Now, as far as actually using the text tool, I feel like once you do get your text in here and stuff like that to go ahead and write, Obviously GoodNotes wins because it allows you to write anywhere on the screen and it'll show up here and then you can move it around. You can shrink, uh, do it like this. You can resize it however you want to as far as like the actual text if you select it, uh, if you actually select the text, um, which that's the only thing about this is like you really have to make sure you're selecting stuff. But yeah, you can make the text small all the way down to the size of one, um, which is really nice. And then of course, you can change the paragraph style, which I wish Penley would do. I wish Touch Notes would do that. I mean, there may be a certain way you want your letters to fall. It would be nice if it wasn't all to the left. So I hope Penley does make that an option, which because she does use Good Notes on a regular basis, I am pretty sure all the features that are in Good Notes will surely make their way over into Penley slowly but surely. Um, we're not gonna talk too much about the text to write function because Penley just got that feature and they're still working out the kinks because there are definitely some kinks to work out, so we're not gonna talk about it too much. But in that respect, I feel like importing fonts is easier on Penly, so it wins. But actually using the text function, I feel like GoodNotes takes the cake on that because obviously it's been out longer, it's a whole lot smoother as far as actually writing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just easier on, <laughs> on GoodNotes in that respect. Um, so we're gonna turn this off um, and go ahead and delete this. Complete. All right, so for the shapes tool, 
Let's go to the shapes tool. Here we are. And here is the shapes tool here next to the text. So with the shapes tool with Penly, it's not that you're gonna draw a shape and it's gonna make a shape, right? You actually have to select the shapes that are here, which is not necessarily a problem. I honestly don't mind it um, because that's kind of how touch notes work. So I'm kind of used to it. I mean, you could draw and touch notes and it would make the shape. Um, like, let me see if I get the pen. If I draw a circle and I hold it in place, you know, nothing's gonna happen here um, in that respect, which is really, really unfortunate. And I know she's going to fix that though. So it's no big deal. Um, if you use like the fountain pen, same thing, you're still not gonna get any like <laughs> actual like thing to happen. If you use the paintbrush, you still once again are not gonna get any kind of, you know, straight line situation going on. Um, but I mean, this is a Samsung thing anyways. When you press, I love that she's made it to where you can press your button and erase without having to go and do that. With Apple, I think it's like a double tap something or whatever. But anyways, the shapes tool is better in GoodNotes because you can actually draw shapes. I mean, that's, hopefully she does integrate that into here. And like I said, with her using GoodNotes on a regular basis more than Pinley, I'm positive that she will eventually get these kinds of features into the app. The sticker function on Pinley beats every app I've ever used. I've used a lot of apps, you guys. I have. I've used Zoom Notes, I've used Note Shelf, I've used Touch Notes, I've used Samsung Notes, I've used Good Notes, I've used uh, Call a Note, I've used this new app called, I think it's like Kill a Note. Um, there's a couple of others that I've tried that really weren't notable. This is amazing. I mean, my God, and I love how big she made it. I'm not gonna lie. At first, when I saw the size of this, when I first downloaded the app, I was like, gosh, that's so chunky. But it really lets you see your stickers. Like, say if you got like, um, oops, I did not mean to bring you in here, hat. Say if you got like, okay, perfect, like these gray icons. This is like a hundred and something stickers. You can actually see each icon for what it is. You know what I'm saying? And get it in here and shrink it and stuff. By the way, I have to have this side note for a second. You guys know how I was complaining about those chunky boxes? You can change the size of that over in here. It's the um, selection UI scale, just make it small. I had mine on medium, which is why it was so chunky. I don't know why anybody would have it that large, but yeah, for some reason mine was set automatically there at medium. It's so much better with the small. Um, Uh-oh, where did my sticker go? It disappeared. Did I get rid of it? Okay, well, we'll just delete you then. Anyways. Yeah, the sticker function to me, I don't even think it's worth mentioning. Good notes is okay. You can drag stickers in via the file. You can import them in uh, here. There's ways that you can do it. Now, if you do it a certain way, it puts a white background on it. It's just a little bit more complex. When you click on elements, it's a little bit smaller. So you have a little bit more scroll time before you can actually see, you know, what you got going on. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible, but I do prefer Penley's better because to me, there's more thought process here. Whereas with Penley, anybody can get your stickers in here and organize them. My sister was a planner beginner and she figured this out and her stickers are organized perfectly fine, super easy. The picture function, you just click on it. You can go anywhere in your, uh, in your files to get your pictures and bring them in. Um, with Penley though, and I think this may be like a glitch at some point it was easier to pull in uh, where it was in split screen, but if you try to swipe up to get the side panel to pop it, it closes out. With GoodNotes, this is more of a uh, actual UI thing. When you swipe up, you would just drag it in. With GoodNotes as well, you can have the same app open in split screen. I hope Pinley does this because then you could drag and drop in between your, your app in case you wanted to maybe copy notes or something like that, but with Pinley doesn't allow you to do split screen of the same app, whereas GoodNotes does, so that's nice. Um, let's see here. What else can we really talk about? Because I don't want to make Pinley seem like something that it's it's not. Um, like I said, because it's still a very new app, but it has a lot of the same features. So let's talk about something else. Let's bring this in. Let's talk about the crop function. So, dang it, I should have deleted this first. Let's delete you guys, because I don't want you in the way. Okay, so let's say I want to crop this. If I hit, okay, wait, maybe I have to do the photo thing. Crop, yeah. 
So if I want to crop this, I am in I am now in another window, right? So if I was trying to crop it like a washi tape for a specific a specific size or I forget the boxes or something, then I got to close out and try again to get it the right size because it's it's not in the same window. And I had the same issue with touch notes and a lot of other apps do that and I don't like it. Samsung Notes and Pinley Chef's Kiss. Thank you because you you can do it on the page. Um, so say if you have this washi tape here and it's on um, like a, a, a bar or something and you want to crop it, if you hit crop, you can crop it while you're still on the actual page. You don't go into a separate window, which allows you to properly measure your sticker to crop it down, which I mean, that should be a no brainer, but I love that they have that feature in here. It's just so convenient. Um, both of the apps don't have a lock feature, but both of the apps have a way to avoid that particular problem. So let's go back into our stickers again and put this tracker here and say we want to write on top of this tracker, but we don't want to move this around or like have anything where it happens to that. If you click on it, you would just uncheck images, which and hence would basically just mean you're locking that sticker down. So if you circle it, it's not going anywhere. That way you can go in and check mark, circle, high five, whatever. And then, I don't know why I said high five. And then when you circle it, it's only going to move the text. Same thing with Penley. If you go in and you pull in a checklist and you don't want this checklist to move, even though you can't lock it, all you have to do is hit the selection tool, excuse me, and go to your Dropbox, this little arrow down button and just uncheck mark image. And now when I go to select, it's not going to select this. It's kind of like it's locked. And then you'll just go in and write and then when you want to move that writing without moving your sticker, it's only going to move that without moving it. So that's a way to lock your stuff. And then to unlock it, you would just go back under here and hit check for the images to allow it to select that. Same thing with GoodNotes. So it's literally the exact same thing. Um, I love that both of these apps support importing or merging PDFs while still keeping both links. I love that uh, Penly does not have to go into reading mode in order for you to click around in clickable links. Whereas with GoodNotes, in order for you to use your links in your planner, you have to go into reading mode, just like Samsung Notes, for you to actually use your links. Otherwise, it's in editing mode and that will only allow you to edit the actual PDF document, which I think is a little bit bothersome, especially if you're on in the zone and you're clicking around your document. I love that all I have to do is just turn off whatever editing tool I'm using and I can just go through the document without issues. With uh, with good notes, excuse me, not good notes, um, with Penly as well, which I'm not going to show this function because there's no need to, it's more one of those things that's just better off being said, um, you can link within the document and on the web, et cetera, et cetera. And it's super easy to do so. I mean, anybody can do it. I have tutorials on Pinley, so if you're interested in that, check it out on my channel. This isn't more of a tutorial. This is more or less actually the comparison between the two apps. Um, but first, let me stop this and then start it again so I don't lose you. Okay, yeah. With GoodNotes, you can only link the web. So <laughs> there's that, um, which is, you know, it's one of those things. It's neither here nor there, but it's just kind of pointing that out. Um, now, both of them suck in the color department. <laughs> I, I cannot, I cannot, but at least with good notes, when you go in to type in the hex code, you just go type in the hex code. With Penly, there's like a, a math problem with it <laughs> if you want to put in the hex code. So with the pencil, sure, you just type in the hex code as it is. But when you go in to do like the highlighter, you have to have FF first. And yes, that has to do with the opacity. I know that, I get it, that's great. But if you don't put FF, nothing happens. So say if I wanted to put in my one of my brand colors that I know by heart, it's the one I use all the time, and I type it in, and I hit done, nothing happens. This bar hasn't moved, nothing's happened. But if I put FF first, and then I put in the uh, number, then it would actually move, but of course it's already on that color. Um, see, now it's there. Say if I wanted to do white, let's clear that. By the way, you just hold it down, just like in Good Notes, you'll hold it down to clear it to choose another color. So say if I wanted to do white. White's, white is like, um, I think it's like F, it's that. 
But in order for it to work in here, you got to add in extra Fs just for it to show up. So two Fs in your, in your highlighter tool first, and then you put the hex code in, which is crazy. Even though, you know, FF is for a deeper uh, opaque level, it's, you know, it's higher up, it still makes you do it for the highlighter tool. Then you would move the opacity down to actually get it in. And you know, if you knew how low you wanted it, then you would put whatever is before that. But even still, that's just, to me, that's way too complex when you're talking about a beginner. And you have to do the same thing with your text. So it has to be FF and then your hex code. So for me, when you're thinking about someone who's a beginner, you know, but they are working on the color dropper tool and I, don't, I have yet to hear good notes say we're gonna do a color dropper tool, which to me is crazy because this app has been out forever. I'm like, good notes, what are you doing? You should have a color dropper tool by now. I get maybe everything else, but a color dropper tool? You got people over here taking screenshots using their freaking uh, iPad iOS to get the hex code using the color drop via that way and then bringing it into your app. Like, that's crazy. At least Penley knows like better, but of course she does because she uses good notes and she knows that's annoying. So, um, there's that, but that's all I wanted to compare as far as these two apps are concerned because I feel like there are still some things that GoodNotes has over Penly, but that is due to the fact that it has been out much longer than Penly has, but I do think they're essentially the same app. If you're talking about taking notes and planning, you're going to get almost the exact same experience minus the subtle differences, which is just due to the age of the app itself. Um, the interface is even almost similar, it's just that this has this thick blue bar up here telling you what the document name is, whereas Penley doesn't. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's essentially the same thing. I feel like she's doing that on purpose, and I have no problem with it, because until something else happens, which I'm very excited about the future of digital planning and the future of PGL and what we're going to be working on and what we're going to be doing, we'll stick with Penley, because at least it's reliable and it's, it's good to go. And I've been hearing a lot about GoodNotes crashing. I think it's because they're trying to update things, so you guys just be patient with it, I guess. I'm not a huge GoodNotes user, so I really don't know outside of just making my sticker my sticker sheets in here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, for my usual watch watchers who stick with me and watch my videos on the weekdays, tomorrow I will not be doing my weekly plan with me. I'm gonna be working my behind off. I have my launch date set. The new planner systems launch, well not planner systems, the new dated planner of the PGL planner system launches June 18th. So that's a Saturday, the week after next. Um, that will include the planner packs that are for students, teachers, stay at home moms, um, homeschooling, and then I have insert packs that will be launching with it. So it's gonna be a rather large launch uh, because I have a crap ton of insert packs from travel to, um, daily check-ins to monthly check-ins to uh, an extended health uh, insert, fitness insert extended, a, um, it's, it's got a lot of different inserts that'll be coming out. And then of course with the packs, um, like say if you're a teacher, then you're gonna end up with a teacher insert pack, not teacher insert pack, but the teacher pack, which will include your planner, your teacher inserts, covers that are themed like a teacher, stickers, including with the dashboard system to go with your planner that will be teacher themed. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I will skip tomorrow's weekly plan with me because quite frankly, I'm not using my old planner because it's inside of touch notes and I don't feel like being so bothered with trying to get all of it in here because I know in June I will be using the dated planner. So right now I am using the, da the uh, dated planner in the custom sections inside of Pinley, but I can't really show you guys that too much because obviously, you know, it's not completely ready to be shown. I haven't even done a walkthrough <laughs> for it yet. So, you know, I'm just gonna skip uh, next week and then um, this week as far as that's concerned. Uh, as far as like any new products for me, you're not gonna see any because I'm working on this massive launch. It's gonna be a lot of products, so the video is gonna be long when I do launch. But you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know I have preached my behind off about touch notes but I have to part ways with it. I am so, I love you guys, and I'm thankful for all of you who watch and have subscribed, but I have to say this, and I have to say it because I am a very honest person. I am tired of being touch note support. I do like the app, and I do like to use it, but I am not the maker of touch notes. 
I cannot answer technical support questions about touch notes because I do not work in that department. I am a digital planner creator. I am not touch notes support. So if you have any questions about touch notes outside of what I've already done on my channel, because that's all I know, what I've shown you on my channel, see me on my channel, that's all I know about touch notes. Anything as far as like back doors or ways to sync and all that stuff, I can't do anything about that because I don't have any coding for that app whatsoever. So touch notes for me right now, I'm shutting that down because I have been getting a lot of questions about touch notes. And as a digital planner creator, my focus are my products. If I can answer a question about an app, that's perfectly fine, but I'm not a touch notes channel. <laughs> so I, I wanted to make that clear. You're gonna see me using Penly a whole lot more because it's reliable, it's beginner friendly, and it's just gonna be one of those things. Touch notes has been deleting a lot of my stuff, and that's frustrating, especially when you're talking about planning because you like to keep up with stuff. Uh, document things and sometimes it works great sometimes it doesn't and I'm just tired of that unreliability so as of today I can no longer recommend touch notes on this channel until they fix their issues and get it together because the app has amazing features but it's unreliable so I can't sit up here and say yeah like I recommend touch notes because I don't <laughs> so um, that's my official statement on touch notes and this channel and just in general I'm not touch note support so please do not leave me a paragraph of technical support questions on videos because that is not my focus on my channel I am only here for digital planning now like I said if I have answered it in an old touch notes video that I've done I will send you the link for that otherwise I cannot give you an answer other than the same one that I've kind of been copying and pasting I'm gonna be honest with you guys um, because I, I just simply I have no other words uh, for that app I think it's really sad that the actual creator of the app does not communicate with anybody <laughs> about anything um, so anyways with that being said like I said God bless I will be hard at work and for my regulars, don't forget to stay updated in the Facebook group. I will see you guys next week. God bless each and every one of you, and I will talk to you then. Bye!